Brad Waller here and I'm doing this handheld because I forgot to bring them along my mount because I put it in the Corvette yesterday when I did my video yesterday from the Corvette. So I don't have it here so I won't be able to video and drive but while I'm at a light I'll start my video and I'll come in sometime later to finish it when I have to. But uh, the subject is live video and do you guys use live video? Well. This video obviously is recorded video, but I found that live video is a great way to build engagement with your audience. Um, I do a lot of work obviously with the California State PTA. I believe I mentioned that before. And so I was using a Periscope before for just certain live events, you know, highlights. Uh, we have the, uh, what's called reflections, which is an art uh, contest where kids compete in um, visual arts, performing arts, things like that, and they'll give performances. The winners, the state winners, will give performances, and so that's something that you can periscope out a performance like that and you know get people to see it. Well, obviously, periscope isn't what it could have been, and when Facebook Live came out with their video, I started experimenting with that, and my first experiment with Facebook live video was actually sitting here in this car and I went through the car wash just me going through an automated car wash and I got something like 200 views of that video within the first day and most of those actually live uh, people interacting people asking questions it was eye-opening so what I started to do was use Facebook live videos a little bit more and I found that they have been very effective for me. Obviously you can't rehearse and they're not so much this kind of a video of me talking to the camera because there's no point in doing a Facebook for me. I don't think there's a point of me doing a Facebook live video to the camera. There are a lot of people that do Facebook live It'll be like an interview uh, podcast equivalent kind of a thing where they've got an interview show and they come up and they do a Facebook Live once a day or whatever their schedule is, and that works for them. But for my thoughts on um, how this would work and how we would do it is, you know, find something interesting, find an event and or be at an event and just do a few minutes of Facebook Live and test it out and see what you get, see what kind of interaction you get. Um, you're going to have comments going across the screen, you can reply to them, and eventually you can get far more advanced. I know of people that have the ability to use a quality camera and not a cell phone up on a tripod, and then they've got a laptop. So the cell phone goes to the laptop, laptop goes to Facebook Live, and that way they've got the laptop to monitor and interact with people, which is really the superior way to do it than trying to do it on the cell phone. But even so, when you see a comment go by or a like or somebody joined, you can interact and you can live right there and say, you know, hey Jim, good to see you. And then, you know, comment and um, reply with questions, that kind of thing. So try Facebook Live for something, just you go somewhere interesting, you do something interesting, you see something interesting, try it and see what kind of results you get. Alrighty, Brad Waller, signing out.